friends this is priyanka today we are going to solve a problem on two stage compression refrigeration system with water intercooler and liquid subcooler so first i will read what is the given problem the following data refers to a two stage compression ammonia refrigerating system with water intercooler condenser pressure 14 bar evaporator pressure 2 bar intercooler pressure 5 bar load on the evaporator 10 tr if the temperature of d superheated vapor and subcooled liquid refrigerant are limited to 30 degree celsius find the power required to drive the system coefficient of performance of the system so this was the given problem so let us first understand what is the given data and which factors we have to find out now if we observe condenser pressure 14 bar is given so in the exam the pressure enthalpy chart for this ammonia refrigerant is getting provided so here is this on vertical line there is the pressure and on the horizontal line there is the enthalpy so we have to select such a pressure that is condenser pressure 14 bar then evaporator pressure 2 bar and intercooler pressure 5 bar so these three points are getting selected then the next is load on the evaporator 10 tons of refrigeration so we will select here the symbol q for this load then the temperature of d superheated vapor 30 degree celsius and temperature of subcooled liquid refrigerant is 30 degree celsius so if we observe here d superheating process is taking place at this water intercooler and this liquid subcooler temperature is also equal to 30 degree celsius so at this both processes 2 to 3 and 5 to 6 that is this at water intercooler and liquid subcooler temperature is 30 degree celsius and we have to find out what is the power required to drive this system and the coefficient of performance for the system now how to calculate this so we have to first find out what is the enthalpy at the different points or at the different processes so we have to refer this pressure enthalpy diagram that is provided in the examination for the ammonia refrigerant because here the refrigerant used is the ammonia now first we have to select this three points that is 2 bar pressure 5 bar pressure and 14 bar pressure now when this refrigerant is entering into this low pressure compressor then it is just leaving this evaporator with pressure equal to evaporator pressure pe and what is the state of this refrigerant that is it is at saturated vapor state so first here evaporator pressure 2 bar so this is the line with 2 bar pressure and if we observe this pressure enthalpy diagram here is the saturated liquid line and here is the saturated vapor line so state of the refrigerant is the saturated vapor and pressure 2 bar so we have to select the point of intersection so this is the point of intersection and we will say this is the point 1 and here the enthalpy is h1 so we have to extend this point 1 in the downward direction on the enthalpy line and here is h1 that is 1420 kJ per kg now what is happening in this low pressure compressor compression process is taking place and then at point 2 refrigerant is leaving the compressor now we have to find out what is the process 1 to 2 that is the compression process and this is the process this is isentropic process that means entropy remains constant so if we observe we have to first find out what is the entropy at this point 1 so this is the entropy line and here the entropy at this point 1 is equal to 5.6244 kJ per kg kelvin and at this constant entropy the compression process is taking place so what is happening after compression its a pressure is getting increased so up to which pressure the compression process is taking place so here it is given that at this water intercooler or intercooler pressure is 5 bar that means when the refrigerant is entering into this water intercooler the pressure is 5 bar so we have to compress this refrigerant only up to this 5 bar so here is the 5 bar pressure line and this is the 
line with constant entropy so here is the point of intersection that is point 2 so when we extend this point 2 on this horizontal line we will get h2 and h2 is equal to 1550 kilojoule per kilogram then what is happening at this water intercooler so again water intercooler the heat is getting removed from the refrigerant and if we observe here is the point 2 so when we observe this point 2 the refrigerant is at superheated state and so at this point 2 when this refrigerant is entering into this water intercooler d superheating process is taking place now it is given that temperature of d superheated vapor is 30 degree celsius now after point 2 we have to see, select or find out of here is the temperature line of 30 degree celsius so if we observe here is one random line of 30 degree celsius temperature and then this d superheating process is taking place at constant pressure so the pressure remains constant that is intercooler pressure 5 bar so we have to select a point of intersection with this 5 bar pressure line and this 30 degree celsius so when we select this is the point of intersection and we will select this is the point 3 so in this way it is easy to find out what where is the point 3 that is up to this point only the cooling process is taking place so here is the point 3 then what is happening after point 3 again it is refrigerant is entering into this high pressure compressor now this compression process is also the isentropic compression so at this point 3 we have to first find out what is the enthalpy at this point 3 that is 1510 kilojoule per kilogram and what is the entropy that is 5.424 and at this constant entropy the compression process is taking place now this compression process is taking place that means what it's a pressure is getting increased now up to which pr pressure compression process is taking place that is here the condenser pressure is given that is 14 bar so we have to select a line with 14 bar pressure line and we have to select the line with entropy so here is the from this point 3 entropy is 5.424 and this is the line with constant entropy so at this constant entropy we have to select the point of intersection so where is the point of intersection this is the 14 bar and here is the entropy equal to 5.424 so here is the point of intersection that is the point 4 and here is the enthalpy h4 and h4 is equal to 1672 kilojoule per kilogram now if we again move the next then what is happening again refrigerant is entering into this condenser now in the condenser what is happening now in the condenser the cooling process is taking place now from this point 4 the refrigerant is converted into the saturated liquid state so we have to extend this line that is the point 4 up to the saturated liquid line so here is the saturated liquid line and we have to select here is the point 5 so this point is important now how to select the next point now this is so much important part because the next it is again entering into this liquid subcooler and in this liquid subcooler it is given that temperature of subcooled liquid refrigerant is 30 degree celsius that means when the refrigerant is reached here at the saturated liquid line it is again getting cooled by this liquid subcooler and what is the temperature that is 30 degree celsius now this is so much important point so here is the 30 degree celsius line and this is the saturated vapor line now we have to extend this saturated vapor line and this 30 degree celsius line here is the point of intersection so when this is the point of intersection we have to extend this point of intersection with the constant pressure so i am extending this with the help of dash and dot and we have to extend this up to the saturated liquid line so here is the saturated liquid line and here is the point 
and this point is called as enthalpy of the saturated liquid line at the point 6 so here i will say hf6 now we will get this hf6 now what is the temperature for this line that is also equal to 30 degrees celsius because here this line that is the constant temperature line is 30 degrees celsius and we have to extend this at the constant pressure because this is also the cooling process is also taking place at the constant pressure for this condenser so along this line only we have to select the line up to this saturated liquid line so up to this 30 degree celsius the cooling process is taking place now how to select the point 6 so here we have to extend this hf6 so i will extend this uh, hf6 in the upward direction in the form of dash and I will say that this is the temperature of 30 degrees Celsius. Now, again we have to extend this point 5 along this pressure 14 bar. So, here I will show the arrow and here is the point of intersection. So, this is the vertical line at 30 degrees Celsius and this point of intersection will give us the point 6 and here is the HF6. So, this is the now when we extend this HF6 we will get here the enthalpy of HF6 and that is also equal to H7 that is 323 kilojoule per kilogram. Now how to find out the next process that is the expansion process. So this expansion process means what? Expansion means pressure is getting decreased but this expansion is taking place at constant enthalpy or we can say that constant temperature. So at this 30 degree Celsius only this expansion process is taking place and that's why here the pressure is getting decreased and here the expansion process is taking place up to the evaporator pressure that is up to this 2 bar. So we have to extend this line at constant enthalpy that means vertical line and up to this 2 bar and here is the point of intersection that is 0.7. So this H7 which is equal to HF6 which is equal to 323 kilojoule per kilogram. So in this way we will get the enthalpies at all the points. Now it is easy for us to calculate the power required as well as coefficient of performance. So let us move for the calculations. Now we will first calculate what is power required to drive the system. So we know that power is equal to work done by 60. So first we have to find out what is the work done. So work done is provided at the time of compression that is at low pressure compressor and this high pressure compressor. That means we have to take the enthalpy difference during this process 1 to 2 as well as during this process 3 to 4 and we have to multiply with this mass of the refrigerant. So how to calculate the mass of this ammonia refrigerant? So we will calculate it when this refrigerant is leaving this evaporator. So how to calculate it? M is equal to what is the evaporator load that is given in terms of Q that is 10 TR. So 210 multiplied by this Q multiplied by the enthalpy difference during this evaporation process. So here process 7 to 1 that is here 7 to 1 is the evaporation process and what is the enthalpy difference that is H1 minus H7. So we have to take here 210 multiplied by Q is equal to 10 divided by 1420 minus 323 and which is equal to 1.91 kilogram per minute. So this is the mass of the refrigerant. Now we will move for the calculation of work done. So work done is taking place at low pressure compressor and high pressure compressor. So we have to multiply with this mass and we have to add the processes that is uh, 1 to 2 and 3 to 4. So what is the enthalpy difference for the process 1 to 2? So H2 minus H1 plus for the process 3 to 4 that is H4 minus H3. And when now remember here we have to take the four bracket that is the square bracket for the addition of this difference between the two enthalpies and then we have to multiply with this mass. So when we put the values and calculate we will get work done is equal to 557.7 kilojoule per minute. 
now we have to calculate power required to drive the system that is w by 60 so 557 divided by 60 which is equal to 9.3 kilowatt and this is the power then we will move for the calculation of coefficient of performance so we know that refrigeration effect divided by work done that is the coefficient of performance now this refrigeration effect is taking place at this evaporator and for this refrigeration effect if the evaporator load is given then we can easily calculate this re so how to calculate that is equal to 210 multiplied by the load on evaporator that is 210 q divided by w so this 210 multiplied by 10 divided by w is there that is 557.7 so when we calculate this we will get the coefficient of performance is equal to 3.76 and this is the answer